information today from the National Weather Service provides more details on the tornado in Stanley Wednesday night. The NWS says it was an EF2 with max winds of 120 miles per hour. The preliminary track was just more than seven miles in southeast Chippewa County. Cleanup efforts are ongoing today in Stanley. Even though many people spent another day without power, spirits were high as volunteers descended on the community. First News at Nine's Max Cotton reports. Nicholas Barden knows he came close to losing everything Wednesday night. We were going to go down to the basement, and to get to the basement, you had to go through my garage. So my outside door here, my daughter unlatched it, my son went to pull it open, and we watched the tornado take the garage right in front of us. In addition to destroying his garage, the storm damaged his roof and broke four windows. Despite the close encounter and the cleanup and rebuild to follow, Barden's in good spirits. We got good family, good friends, you know, that you got to look positive, you know, we, it, it's all replaceable, our lives are still good, we're still walking around, still talking, so, you know, life just goes forward. Barden isn't the only one carrying a positive attitude, despite having their lives uprooted. Stanley Mayor Alan Haas says his community's staying strong, in large part thanks to the generosity of others. Things are going really well. Um, we've had a lot of um, a lot of people show up to uh, to donate their time. Um, yesterday was um, remarkable how many people showed up to help. Today is really well also. It's pretty nice, you know, knowing that we got a strong community that actually will come out and help out when it needs to be helped out. Neighbors are helping neighbors pick up the garbage, pick up the branches. So as far as even the community, it's a great community and everybody's pitching in. A community coming together, helping each other clean up and eventually rebuild. In Stanley, Max Cotton, First News at 9. Excel Energy reports more than 700 customers in Stanley are still without power. Power isn't expected to be restored until early Sunday morning. There will be a mass assistance and recovery center set up at the Stanley Community Center tomorrow. That's from 9 a.m. until 6 p.m. Multiple Chippewa County agencies will be on hand to assist people. If you want to help those in Stanley with the recovery efforts, donations can be mailed or dropped off at any Forward Bank location. Clothing, food, or personal items can be dropped off at the Stanley Community Building in Chapman Park as well.